Chandler. If you've got a story you want us to cover in your community, just shoot us an email at connect at 12news.com and I'll head your way. But time now to ask the expert. Here to answer all of your questions live on the air is Dr. Sonal Harder with Dignity Health Medical Group. So we got a couple of viewer questions for you today as we talk about organizing. The first one saying, where do you draw the line between being organized and being a hoarder? I wish I could clean my mom's entire house. I feel like she'd be much happier. <laughs> okay, so hoarding actually is a medical diagnosis. It's a mental illness diagnosis, which was um, I think they came up in 2013 that right. it was actually a mental illness. So the difference between unorganized clutter is basically these are objects that are just disorganized, messy. You can clean them up in minutes and hours. It does not cause any dysfunctionality in your life. They're not occupying entire space around you. Whereas hoarding, actually, people have a persistent problem of getting rid of objects that have that have no value or no meaning. Function. And every space in the house becomes a storage unit. And this actually becomes dangerous because most people are not able to walk around. They don't invite people over because they recognize this is an issue. So that that really is a illness that needs to be taken very seriously. And I think the disorganized is not necessarily illness, it's just a habit related. Okay, so there is a line between those two, of course. So great question. And then Johnny and Chandler, what are some specific tips for organizing a closet full of shoes and clothes? So oh Johnny, boy. I just did this. And so I have a couple of tips for this. First of all, create bins or baskets and label them. So, you know, goodwill or donation or relocate or trash it, whatever that is, or store. And then take everything down and then start to look at your clothes or shoes and decide, have you really used it in a year or two? And if you haven't, maybe it's time to relocate that to another place or donate. And once you have those bins, it's very clear if you want to keep that stuff or give it a, get rid of it. So okay. I, I say do that and put some nice music. I think it, it helps. Right, crank up the 80s tunes yes. and make a day of it. Open the windows this time of year. I mean, Lindsay said it's going to be perfect at Actually least for tomorrow. Actually invite friends to take a look at my clothes to see, and they are sometimes brutal. They're like, get rid of that. Or or it's a hand-me-down. Yeah, they're like, yes. oh, that's ugly. Oh, let me just Correct. put it in my bag. <laughs> yeah, that dress has got to go. It's terrible. Right. Why don't you give it to me? <laughs> All right, our next viewer says, how organized is too organized? My sister stresses out every time we come to visit her house. She wants every single thing to be perfect. So here, here's the key feature of this. If it's affecting your relationships, it's affecting your own health, it's causing anxiety and stress about every small thing, then that is not healthy. That kind of goes into obsessive compulsive behaviors. So yes, I think that probably may not be as healthy as just staying organized. Okay, so just try to pump the brakes. And on that same note, Dan from Phoenix asking, do you have any mental tricks for staying on track with being organized once we kickstart the process in our own homes? Dan, this is such a good question. And actually, I will tell you, there is a book I want to recommend to all of viewers. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Okay. And it's actually daily habits. Staying consistent and disciplined with small little habits, but they are daily. Practice them daily, and I think that just changes how you think about what you think about yourself. I want to be known as an organized, clean, not a messy person. person. But if you do that on a daily basis, small steps, it actually leads to big impact. And I think we've all seen the video of it starts with making your bed Correct. first thing in the morning. Yes. And it can be something as simple as that. Would you agree, Doc? Absolutely. Start with small habits that really creates bigger habits and bigger impact. I like that. For me at my house, it's emptying the dishwasher instead of just using the clean <laughs> dishes out of the dishwasher. Thank you, Dr. Sonal Harder. We appreciate you being here.